Hi, welcome on TV Jesus Christ. I am Alan Rich and you are on Rooted in the Bible. Hi, welcome, welcome back. Uh, this week uh, we are in the part two of uh, the topic on the Holy Spirit. We are talking about the power of the Holy Spirit. We just saw last week that uh, Jesus was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and it's by the Holy Spirit that he was healing people and delivering people who were oppressed by the devil. Amen. We are going to see this week who, uh, who is the Holy Spirit, not what is. Uh, some people, they believe that the Holy Spirit, uh, sometimes they, we say the Holy Ghost, is a kind of ghost, is a kind of, uh, you know, a cloud. It's a thing, like some people believe in certain um, sect. But the Bible says that... Uh, it is not a, a thing, it is a person. Is it? It's the, the third, yes, uh, it is a part of God, of Trinity. We're not going to, to get into Trinity, uh, don't worry, in this area. In John chapter uh, 14, verse 16 to 17, we see that Jesus said, I will pray the Father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. So, of course, he was talking to the disciples who were not yet baptized with the Holy Spirit. Okay, But Jesus said, God will give you another helper. He didn't say another, uh, uh, he will give you an help, not a thing, a person. Because Why did he say another? Because, of course, uh, compared to him, at that time they were with Jesus Christ and Jesus were, was he their helper. But then when Jesus had to go, well, God uh, had to send a new helper and that new helper was the Holy Spirit. And he said, it may abide with you forever, because when, as we saw last week, uh, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit, it's forever. The Spirit of Truth, and the world cannot receive it, huh? because he don't see him, or he don't know him. We know the Holy Spirit because he is in us, and we see him not with our human eyes, but with our spiritual eyes, we will see that later. And he said, He will dwell with you and will be in you. This was a, a prophecy. Now he is in us, he dwells in us. Amen. The Holy Spirit must be in you. Uh, for those who are not sure, uh, having the Holy Spirit, uh, you can go to uh, sharing shantercom on the video prayer page. There are prayers to uh, repeat, salvation prayer forgiveness prayer and you know um, for spiritual fight fight and warfare prayer and there is the prayer to ask the Holy Spirit maybe it may help you sometimes we don't know how to speak and to ask in John 16 verse 7 and 8 Jesus say it's your advantage that I go away for if I don't go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. You see, Jesus said, I will send him, and not I will send it. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. This is very important, because we see that it is the Holy Spirit who convinces the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. When you came to Jesus, you were able to understand. You were able to understand that you have sinned. You were able to understand what Jesus did on the cross only because the Holy Spirit convinced you of it. 
So you're not better than a person who heard the gospel and didn't come to Jesus. In uh, John uh, chapter 14, verse 25 to 26, he said again, uh, These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, who, whom the Father will, will send is in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. So, of course, this prophecy has come to pass now because we have received the Holy Spirit. And it means that now the Holy Spirit is teaching you all things. When you hear a preacher, when you listen to me now, it is the Holy Spirit in you that is teaching you. The Holy Spirit may tell you this is okay and this is not okay for a reason or another. Maybe you're not ready. Maybe it's not good for you. But you have to follow the Holy Spirit when you, speak, when, when you hear a man of God. Your teacher is not this man of God. Your teacher is the Holy Spirit. Because now people are traveling and people are watching uh, internet, they hear different kind of teachings. And one teaching is saying that, and the other teaching is like saying it's contrary. You know? And people are confused. And they say, okay, where is the truth? Well, the Holy Spirit must be the one who show you the truth. You must not try to understand with your intelligence or try to search what man is saying the truth. But you must confide in the Holy Spirit because only the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, is true. Any man, me included, I can say something wrong. I can believe, I may believe something that is not completely right. And I may maybe uh, express myself a wrong way and I don't say exactly what I want, what I think. And so you can hear and you may say, I, I'm not, I don't agree with this man and he's very good. You should ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in all the truth. Amen. And because it is said, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance all things that I said to you. Jesus said a lot to the people. There were a great crowd and there are things that he didn't say to the crowd, but say after only to the disciples. And some of those things they have uh, written down in the Bible. But we know that everything that Jesus did, everything that Jesus said, is not, is not written in the Bible. Huh? Uh, we can see in John 21, uh, 25, there are also many other things that Jesus did which if they were written one by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Amen? So there, there are many things that he said to the disciples. And we can know things by the Holy Spirit. He said, Jesus said, the Holy Spirit will bring to your remembrance all things that I say to you. Amen? Also, there are things that Jesus didn't say, but wanted to say. Do you know that? You may think, no, no, the, everything Jesus said, he said it already, it's in the book, and we must not get out of the book. Of course, it's the word of God, we must not get out of the book. But the Holy Spirit keep on talking. And as long as the Holy Spirit is talking, of course, he will never contradict the word of God otherwise it's not the spirit of God because God that doesn't lie doesn't mistake uh, and doesn't contradict himself but the spirit of God may want to speak amen um, and this is by, uh, biblical uh, in John 16 verse 12 to 14 Jesus say listen to that I still have many things to say to you but you can't bear them now. So he didn't. He had a lot to say, but he didn't say it. However, 
when he the spirit of truth has come he will guide you in all truth for he will not speak of his own authority but whatever he hears he will speak and he will tell you things to come and he will glorify me for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you so you see that there are things that many things that Jesus didn't say that now he's saying by the Holy Spirit you can read it he's taking the Holy Spirit is taking what is from Jesus who has many things to say and he declare it to us so it is very important to listen to the Holy Spirit and not be afraid of listening to new things when I say new things is not new doctrine that go against the Word of God but it's not like whatever God has said is in the Bible and he has nothing else to say he has a lot to say because the Word of God is a living word you know as it is say uh, the letter kills you know but the spirit is, is uh, I don't know in English how you say is uh, giving life Amen As I say, he teaches us in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things. Okay, in fact, the, 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 the real meaning in the first uh, manuscript was and you all know, you have knowledge, in other words. You are anointed and you, are, you have knowledge in verse 27 the anointing which you have received from him from God abides in you and you do not need that anyone teach you but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and is true and is not a lie and just as it has taught you you will abide in him so you see that when it is said you don't do not need to be teach it doesn't mean that you must not go to church and listen from a man of God or listen to me uh, on the contrary through those things the Holy Spirit is teaching you it's very important you must by reading the Bible the Holy Spirit is teaching you by hearing other people talking the Holy Spirit is teaching you amen and you know those two verses, those 1 John 2, uh, verse 20 and 27, when he says it's the Holy Spirit who uh, teaches you, we may think, why does he say that? You know, sometimes we can read something in the Bible and we are not sure why the people of Paul is saying something to who, what was the problem. But here we know, because it is said in the verse 26, these things... I have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you. So we see that already at that time there were people who were trying to deceive the people, who were trying to say, no, this is not true, this is not, not the true gospel, this is not the true doctrine, this is not the true teaching, this is the truth. And the people, they were confused. Maybe you are confused with different teaching. And as I said before, you have to come to God and ask the Holy Spirit and he will show you the truth from the lie amen and the light from uh, darkness it is the Holy Spirit that leads you in all the truth and it is the Holy Spirit who teaches you so you have to turn to the Holy Spirit I know like me I have international helpline people are calling me and say oh give me I trust you give me your point of view this man is saying that this man is saying that tell me what is the truth I can give my point of view and it is good to ask advices it's very good but you must never forget that your first advisor your first counselor your first teacher is the Holy Spirit and whatever man tells you even if you trust them a lot you should have the confirmation from 
the Holy Spirit. So that's all uh, I have for this week, time I have for this week. We're going to uh, continue next week. It's, it's very important to see those points uh, for you to understand how, why you have the power, how you have the power, and after how to use it in the spiritual warfare. You are on TV Jesus Christ on uh, Rooted in the Bible. I am Alan Rich. I see you next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.